Okay, we're going to look at a 2023 Sprinter from Keystone, the 31 TB. TB stands for triple bunk. See, it's got a huge awning over there, stereo speakers. Let's take a peek at the specs on this one. Nice looking rig, this Sprinter. It's a very solid RV. All right, so here we go. This is the unloaded vehicle weight, 10,240 pounds, gross vehicle weight. 12,100 pounds so this one it's appropriate for a three-quarter ton truck or a one ton truck but a three-quarter ton truck would be a f-250 3500 ram gmc so you got a couple of slides here that is your uh, wardrobe slide for the bedroom that's where you have a dinette and a fridge you can see one of the two solar panels right there it's got uh, 400 watts of solar up on the roof and there's two air conditioning units so got everything you need we'll go ahead and take a peek it does have the automatic leveling system right here it's still got this plastic over it but it's got a good view of the kingpin so when you're raising and lowering it you'll be able to see your truck the hitch on your truck right there and it has the patented hitch vision and if you want to check the patent pending number there it is right there so you can see your hitch as you're backing up Let's go over here and take a look and see what's inside this uh, door right here. Is this a TV? It's a refrigerator. So you got a fridge right there. Let's see what's in here. Okay, you got another fridge. And this one has a griddle. That is a griddle that pops out. So you've got two fridges and a griddle. So you got plenty of room for all your uh, beverages, all your cooking ingredients you can see it's got a prep for a rear camera and a ladder so let's quit fooling around we you want to see the inside i know that we're going in there's the stereo speakers one two solid step by lippert it's even called the solid step got a grab handle here so you're safe going up and down you got this uh 400i that means you have well i'm going to show you real quick we're going to backtrack take a peek over here you have an inverter this has a two not too important to skip over it's got a uh, solar charge controller a 30 amp mppt solar charge controller that is the best kind and then this one has lithium batteries in it so with lithium the solar charge controller and now we're going to take a peek in here and over there is a pure that box hanging down right next to the vent, that's a pure sine wave inverter. So you can run your fridge and up to seven outlets. Uh, 110, when you're not plugged in, you can still plug in a coffee pot, a hair dryer, CPAP machine. Check out this double welded construction on these aluminum studs. This is a solid way to build an RV. It's the correct way to do it. So that is your pass-through storage area right there. Now let's go inside. So the bottom line is, when you're driving down the road you'll have this hooked up to your truck and it gives it a trickle charge that won't keep up with the fridge so if you're wanting to keep your groceries cool in the fridge frozen in the freezer well that's where this uh, solar flex 400 and the lithium batteries come in so you have 400 watts of solar up on the roof the inverter solar charge controller I may be going on too much about that solar, but it's nice. So you've got the Thomas Paine collection, theater seats, storage space up there. Very stylish looking. All right, you see that dinette over there and the fridge on this slide out. And check out all this counter space. This is very homey, very functional. You got a fireplace right there. TV comes out on an arm, but look at all that counter space. It's very chef friendly. Check out all that pantry space. It's a lot. It's your microwave at convenient location. More pantry space here and down here. So you got some some dry goods, canned food, some Cheerios, oatmeal. You're going to be doing just fine. You got a stainless steel sink, industrial looking residential fixture right there and a subway tile motif backsplash that is beautiful so i'm just going to take a peek right here this is very open here it's got a high ceiling 
That's one of the benefits of a fifth wheel. This floor in here, this is linoleum, but underneath the floor, it's got a 25-year warranty. It's a single piece. It's 24 feet long, 8 feet wide, width of the coach. No tongue and groove, no seams. You're not going to be getting creaking, soft spots, warping. Okay, this is the TB, the triple bunk. So it's a 31 TB. So there's one, two, three. Yeah, that qualifies as triple. There's three of them. Got that cubby storage, so each one of your bunk occupants there can have a place to put some stuff. And then you got one, two, three, four, five, six drawers. So nobody has to fight over drawers either. You've got two for each person. If somebody takes three and leaves only one, that means somebody's getting picked on. Nobody picking on anybody. All right, this is just nice in here. Thanks for tagging along. I'm Duke, your video host. Here's my contact information. Be happy to show you how easy it is to purchase an RV with no dealer prep fees, no hidden fees, no freight. You can even stay at our campground for a couple of days. Check it out before you go. Make sure everything is good. If there's any problems, we'll address them. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at the uh, luxury bathroom. There is your control center right there. 67 degrees. It's nice out right now. Hey, look right here in the bathroom. You got two cabinets just like that. It's a lot of storage right there. There is your toilet, well positioned. You've got a luxury shower. It's a place to sit down for a sauna experience. You even got a grab handle there. Natural skylight for a naturally solar powered shower. Of course, it will be solar powered. If you uh, use the electric water heater. You can heat that up using the solar panels and your lithium batteries. You see that PEX plumbing there? That's good down to negative 10 degrees. So that is very practical. Look at that huge queen bed. And the other thing about it, you got room to walk around it. You don't have to squeeze in here. I'm walking around the bed. All the way around, there's a table on each side. There is an inverted outlet. So that outlet right there, where you're running on solar... And lithium batteries if you're doing some dry camp and you're not plugged in you can still run a CPAP from that right there got some uh, storage up here so the uh, wardrobe is on this slide out right here so you've got a place to hang clothes up here and then there's two drawers underneath it another little place on the side a little table there on the side of the bed so this one has the residential style air filters in this air conditioner. The Blade AC system, it's very efficient. It uh, delivers air all throughout the coach evenly and efficiently. And I can go over that with you, but there's some innovations. They use the tough lock couplers. Make sure you're not uh, taking shortcuts when you... Uh, Put the AC together, they don't want to do that. They want to do it right so years down the road it's going to be efficient and it's going to be cooling the coach. It's more efficient that way. Oh, you even have a little side entry here to this uh, storage area there. That's going to be that's your fuse panel right there. Hey, I appreciate you tagging along and viewing my video. If you have any questions, just let me know. I'm Duke at Duke's RV, and here's my contact information. Probably the best way to get a hold of me is send me a text. If you watched all the way to the end, please feel welcome to hit the thumbs up button to make me feel great. You got windows on this side, window in the door, windows over here. So that really opens it up to have windows on both sides there. I like the colors on this one. It's very comfortable. Let's take a peek at it from this side over here. All right, and there's a leaf on that table if you want to uh, extend that. Here's another peek at the uh, bunk room here. Everybody's got a light, a window. It's got a 110 outlet. There's a place for a TV backer location there. Yeah, it'd be very cozy here. These bunks are 74 inches long. That's six foot two right here. So if you got any big kids, six foot two, they'll still fit in there. 
Hey, thank you very much. Thanks for viewing my video.